Hey guys. Okay. I'm doing some mum propagation and I thought I would show you how I'm doing this. So, um, just, let's see, probably a couple years ago. I don't have as many now, but about two years ago I had 160 mums due to me doing this constantly, propagating mums. And so I'll show you how to do it yourself. I have not clipped my mums yet this year and they are way past due. So I have this little space here where I, they're fighting. Hey, hey, shh. Where I don't have anything planted because I moved some stuff. So I'm gonna stick some mums in here because this area gets morning sun and it does not get um, the heat of the afternoon. So let me see here. Okay. So you're going to need some of these. Let me show you. I'm going to cut some. I'll show you. It's kind of a mess. So here's some that needs to be clipped. You can see how tall they're getting. I don't like them to be this tall because um, I don't want a single stalk getting really tall and then putting flowers on the top. So I want it to divide. I want it to branch off lower down. So I'm gonna clip it. These are longer than normal because I haven't done this. So as you can see these back here, see how tall this pot is? That is too tall for me. I do not like them like that. So I've got these little cuttings. Then I'll show you. This is what they look like when you cut them off. I've stripped the lower leaves off. And then I'm going to also cut the tops out. And here's a little spot. And it's this simple. <laughs> just, I'm not using rooting hormone or anything. They do just fine without it, so I'm not going to waste it. So I'm just poking them down as far as I can get them. They all won't make it, but the majority will. So, hear the hummingbirds flying over. Now this spot, like I said, does not get the full sun of the afternoon. It just gets morning sun. So that is what you want is it needs to get some shade. It needs to get some sun, but it don't need to be like in the blasting heat because it's a, it's a battle to grow roots before they dry out on the top. So you can help them out. So here, I'm just gonna take my little clippers. You could do this before you plant them. If you want, just cut the tops out. The reason that I'm cutting the tops out is because I want them to branch off here, lower down to the ground and make a bushier plant. So, all right, here's a whole bunch I just did. And I have some more to do, but first I'll have to strip the leaves off. But I thought I'd show you guys. Oops, that's about how much I strip off. And then, oops, I'm trying to cut it off. I'll show you guys. This is what it's going to look like. I just clipped the top out, or tried to. And that's going to go down into the ground. I'll show you about how much. The reason I'm pushing it down, pushing it down pretty far. So there was a couple, two or three um, leaf nodes under the soil. So they will have the opportunity to make roots from that. 
Oops, there's another one I forgot to do. So, this is so fun. Um, also, keep them watered. Don't let them dry out at all. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to have to get off here and use both hands to finish this up. Whoops, I just pulled one out. And I will do another video here in a couple weeks and show you whenever they've established and get past the, they're going to look really rough for a little while. They're going to wilt and look terrible until they get, get going. Hey, that is a little baby mum bed. 